Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about derived categories. Um, they're going to be useful for us uh, because um, it, well, well, we've been talking about deformations and um, it turns out that, that lifts from, from, of schemes from mod p to mod p squared are going to correspond to certain uh, derived Cartier isomorphisms. Uh, this will come, this will become apparent uh, when I get to it. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to start. So derived categories. Um, okay, so first um, uh, we're going to fix it in this in this video. We're going to fix A to be an abelian category. Okay, so uh, an abelian category is an additive category. Uh, that means it's it's enriched in the category of abelian groups, which means uh, that its its HOM sets are actually groups. So you can add and uh, subtract morphisms, and there's a zero morphism. Uh, there's also a zero object in this category. It has finite products and coproducts. Um, it has co-kernels and co-kernels, and importantly, every uh, monomorphism is a kernel, and um, every epimor epimorphism is, is going to be a, a co-kernel. Okay, so uh, this, is, this, is a, this is what we're gonna have, and, and in this category, uh, we, we recall the following definition. Um, uh, that a a chain complex okay is going to be um, well it's going to be a collection of CIs and DIs uh, so sometimes by abusive notation I'm just going to omit the subscripts okay or we'll, we'll call this C dot and um, well this is just going to be a, a bunch of maps okay um, so so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it by the integers. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, have the, them graded by the integers. And so I'm gonna have a bunch of uh, guys here. So these are objects of these are objects in the in the category A, and these are morphisms here. So this is D I minus one, but I'm just gonna call it D D. Okay, and it goes on so and so like this, such that D squared is equal to zero. Okay, so it's not an exact sequence, but um, uh, so the the image of this is contained in the in the the image of the previous is contained in the kernel of the next. Okay, so this is a this is actually a cochain complex. Um, uh, sometimes uh, the you know you go the other way. Okay, but uh, I do algebraic geometry, so we're gonna we're gonna do cohomology. Okay, uh, algebraic topologists always flip the arrows. Um, okay, and and uh, so. Okay, to one of these guys, to a, a, a coaching complex, uh, there exists, um, uh, we can associate uh, cohomology. Okay, and uh, cohomology is, is, as we know, uh, defined to be uh, the co-cycles uh, modulo the co-boundaries at the ith level. So this one's the kernel from uh, C of I uh, to C of I plus one. And this is the image of, uh, C of I minus one to C of I. Okay. So it lives in C of I. It's a certain sub quotient of, uh, the, the C of I guy. Okay. So, um, so this is a construction. And one of the questions we can ask is, um, uh, how do we make this functorial? Uh, okay, so, um, so like, uh, so, so this, this amounts to, so we have objects here and, um, we have a candidate functor and we need to equip this, these objects with morphisms in order to make this functorial, this construction functorial. And so there's the, uh, there's this boring answer. I mean, it's the answer we all know. Uh, so. Uh, we have to define the notion of uh, a cochain map. Okay, so uh, is a we we use cochain maps uh, as morphisms. Uh, cochain maps as morphisms, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna de I'm gonna define what this means. Um, so uh, so what's a cochain map? Okay, so a cochain map. Well, okay, so I'm gonna 
break down two complexes. Okay? And so, uh, di, di plus one. Okay. Okay, so this is fi minus one, fi, fi plus one. Okay, so we have uh, we have these guys. So it's going to be a collection of maps, fi's. So it's a collection of maps. Okay, and I'm going to omit the subscripts i. It's a collection of maps such that uh, the following holds. Um, uh, this is the key condition. The coaching it's that um, uh, df uh, is equal to uh, D composed with F is equal to F composed with D. Okay, so here there's kind of two ways to go around one of these things, and this is just saying that the, the that this diagram commutes. Okay, so we have our cochain complexes and we have our cochain maps. Okay, so we can make a category now. We're going to make a category. Um, so chain of A. So this is the category of uh, cochain complexes plus cochain maps. Okay, and and um, given this, one can one can show. Um, so uh, it's easy to show. Uh, that um, uh, so that HI are functors uh, from these cochain complexes into A. Okay, so for each I. Um, in particular, if you have a morphism here, right, and you have a class, so if you suppose we have a, a map here from C to D, right, then the induced map on the HIs. It's just the, the stupid thing, right? So you take a, a class here, and you just do f of c here. And then you can check that this is well-defined, okay? So the exercise is that this thing is actually well-defined. Okay, so this is something that you do um, as an undergraduate, okay? So um, I'm gonna give a definition. Okay, a definition now. Okay, so um, sometimes we only care about the cohomology, right? It's kind of stupid to only care about the cohomology because the cohomology is an incomplete invariant. But um, nonetheless, this is what we're, we're going to move. Okay, we're going to do this. So um, let's pretend like we do, okay? So uh, f from uh, c to d. So we have a, a, so a, a cochain map. Uh, is a quasi-isomorphism. So a quasi-isomorphism, uh, and by definition, we're going to have this be, um, so this is the definition, that uh, HI of F is an isomorphism. Iso, uh, isomorphism for all I. Okay, so this is the definition of a quasi-isomorphism. Okay, and so the, the idea of the derived category Okay, so the idea of derived categories uh, so the derived category motto is um, we take morphisms of cochain complexes and um, and we, we in this category we formally invert uh, uh, invert uh, quasi-isomorphisms. In um, in this uh, in in cochain. Okay, so that is sometimes you will have quasi-isomorphisms from say C to D, right? But it's not in general true that D that every quasi-isomorphism, um, let's say from uh, uh, C to D, that you can find an inverse from D to C. Uh, that's the inverse of the, the quasi-isomorphism. But what we'll do is we'll adjoin this. We'll adjoin the, the, the formal inverses.
Okay, so now we we have our notion of um, uh, of cochain maps. Um, so let's recall um, another thing. Okay, so let's take uh, uh, two two guys, and let's say that they're morphisms of cochain complexes for A. So remember, I write my category here as the HOM in front. So this is a morphism of cochain complexes. Okay, uh, so we're going to define an equivalence relation. This is uh, being homotopic. Okay, um, if uh, I'm going to write out the key equation here, F minus G is equal to uh, D composed with H uh, plus H composed with D for some sufficient H. And let me say what H is for some, okay, H, and then I'm going to say what this is, but first I'm going to write out the picture. Okay, so we have two complexes A and B, so let's write out what it is. Um, uh, AI minus one, AI, AI plus one, okay. BI minus one, BI, BI plus one. Okay, and now we're gonna go down. Uh, so we have two maps, F and G. Okay, so we have these F and Gs for each each time. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're gonna have this H go backwards. Okay, so this will go back here, and maybe there's gonna be something back here, and so we have this H going back. Okay, and so H is a map, okay, from AI to AI minus one. So this is from A to, um, uh, so to B and then minus one. So this is, so let me, let me, let's recall what this is. So, so B minus one of, let's say I is defined to be equal to B of I minus one. Okay. So we make this new complex where we just shift everything over. Okay. So, um, so this is what it is. So uh, we say that these are homotopic if they're related by these two guys. Okay, and these two guys are the two ways. So we, we want a, guy, a, a map from, uh, some, from the i-th level to the i-th level. But we have something from the i-th level to the i minus first level. Well, there's two ways to get something from the i-th level to the i-th level. We can either first apply this and then go back, or we can apply D and then go back. And these are the two different versions of this, and this is the combination of the two. Okay, so here's a fact that, or exercise again. Um, if F and G are homotopic, then uh, they induce the same map on cohomology. Okay, so our goals now our goal will be to form a category, a category where morphisms are only considered up to homotopy. Up to homotopy. Okay, this will be the homotopy category. And, um, and then the other thing that we need to do is we need to uh, invert uh, the quasi-isomorphisms. So these are the, gonna be the maps that induce isomorphisms on cohomology. Okay, so I'm going to need some auxiliary constructions. So, okay, so okay, so this is all about morphisms of cochain complexes. Uh, so, 
we have these objects coaching complexes and there's lots of different things to do. Okay, so I'm going to construct um, this category, which I'm going to call uh, this of complexes, but with, um, let's do zero first. Okay, so here the objects are going to be, well, coaching complexes. And the morphisms, well, what we're going to do is um, we're just going to have, uh, well, let me write it out. Okay, and we have, okay, so we have uh, two complexes. Coaching complexes. Okay, and uh, we're just going to take these guys to be I plus one. They're going to have no conditions on them. Uh, so they're just like crazy, right? They could do whatever they want, okay? So there, there are going to be collections of maps like this with no conditions, okay? Um, okay, so we're going to do this again, okay? I'm going to do another category. Okay, for each n, the objects are going to be uh, co-chain maps. Okay, and the morphisms again. Uh, so the morphisms are going to be, well, we're going to do something similar. Um, here, uh, we're going to have for each i, uh, it's going to go to a i to um, uh, uh, b i plus n. Okay, so this is the same thing as a map. Or, or, or so this is the same thing here. Uh, this is a morphism of degree zero in uh, comp uh, a uh, zero between um, uh, let's say a and uh, b n. Okay, so we have these guys. Okay, so we so so for every n. Right? For every integer, we're going to make a new category where we're, where we're changing the morphisms. Okay, this is just kind of like a silly thing. I, this is not deep, right? This is just like there's stupid maps here. And then here we just do stupid maps, but they're shifted. And that's it. Okay, what's interesting about these is that we're going to use them all together. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so the... the, the uh, uh, the special part is that this system, right? If we, okay, we fix A and B uh, co-chain complexes. Um, so this, uh, so we have this, then we look at these HOMs, and then we vary over all the ends. So here, here it, this is going to be itself a co-chain complex. Okay, it's going to be a co-chain complex, and in order to define a co-chain complex, okay, we're going to uh, need to define the the map. Okay, and to let's just say. A dot B dot N plus one. Okay, so I need to define what this does. Okay, and so what it's going to do is DF. F is again. So F is a collection of, uh, of of maps from the complex A to the complex B, but they're all shifted over. Okay, and so DF is going to be a new map, and they're going to be shifted over by by one more. Okay, and again, there, there's two ways to shift one more. Okay, the, the first way is to apply F and then shift. The other way to do it is to uh, shift and then apply F. Okay, and then we're going to have these alternate, right? So they're going to be this to the N plus one. Okay, so this gives a definition. Uh, so uh, another exercise is to show... Uh, d squared is equal to zero. Okay, so that this is a, co a coaching complex is advertised. 
Okay, so we have this. Now, what are we going to do with it? Okay, so, well, I am going to define a new category. So, we're going to define the homotopy category. Okay, so the homotopy category. Um, okay, so this is going to be, I'm going to denote by K and then comp A or just K of A. So it's the homotopy category of co-chain complexes within the, the abelian category A. And um, the objects, well, they're going to be co-chain complexes. They're co-chain complexes. We're not modifying the objects at all. And the morphisms in this category, okay, so the morphisms are, are different, okay? So, um, so let's take A and B to be co-chain complexes. Okay, and we're gonna define um, the, the morphisms. So, uh, HOM, uh, let's say, so I'm gonna write out the category again, K, A, uh, A dot, B dot, is defined to be equal to, uh, well, H zero, and now I'm gonna do this complex. Uh, we have A, A dot, B dot, Okay, and now we have this thing. Okay, so we're gonna have this. Okay, and I, I'm gonna I claim that this is actually um, what we wanted it to be. This is going to be morphisms of cochain complexes, so cochain maps uh, up to homotopy. Okay, so let's verify that this is cochain maps up to homotopy. Okay, so. Here we have um, uh, H0 um, of this thing, of uh, this complex here. Okay, so this is going to be Z0 and B0. Okay, so what is Z0? Okay, so Z0, well, let's recall that DF was equal to uh, D composed with F plus um, negative 1 to the N plus 1, uh, F composed with D. Okay, so when N is equal to 0, uh, this becomes D composed with F plus uh, negative 1 uh, of F composed with D. And so this, if, if, if df is zero, this is the same thing as uh, f being a cochain map. All right, uh, so what is, what is b zero? Okay, well, uh, well, we have to look at the image of df. Again, we apply this formula. Uh, so df is equal to d composed with f plus negative 1. Now we have negative 1 plus 1 of f composed with d. And so this is equal to d composed with f plus f composed with d. So this is, these are the, these are the co-boundaries in the original thing. So this is what induces that homotopy equivalence relation. Okay, so this is, so this implies here let's call that star, that star is equal to, well, this is a uh, cochain maps modulo that homotopy. Okay, things that look like this. Okay, and this, this does what we, we wanted it to do. Okay, so so now we're 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 now we're going to do the the definition. So now we have our we have our okay. So we we had the three levels. We had the cochain maps. Now we have the homotopy category, and now we're going to do the derived category. Okay, so 
what we're going to do is, um, uh, so, so, um, okay, so we need to talk about the localization of category at a set of morphisms. Um, so let's, let's just say it. Okay. So, well, I, I actually, I'm going to skip this. It, uh, if I feel like I need to, I'll, I'll make another thing on this. Um, it's, it's not too difficult. Okay. So, um, let me just say that. Uh, okay. So let me give you the definition of the derived category. So, okay. So we have this homotopy category. Okay. And then, um, we, we're going to have S of A. This is going to be the, uh, quasi isomorphisms. Okay. And so what we can do is we can take a category, right? And then what we're able to do is we're going to be able to invert, uh, these, these guys here. So we're going to form a new category, which is the, um, initial object in the category of categories, which localize S. Okay. So, so we have a bunch of categories and a category localizes S if morphisms from S become isomorphisms after applying a functor. Okay. So, um, so now what we have is, uh, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, the initial object in that category. So the one that, that, uh, you know, you know, through, so if you have a, a map that localizes, uh, this S, right. If you have a functor that localizes this S, then it's going to factor through the home, the, the, the localization. Okay. And that's exactly what the derived category is. Okay. So the derived category of A is, this is the derived category of A. So this is equal to, uh, the K of A localized at S of A. So this is the, uh, localization of, uh, the homotopy category at, uh, the, the set of, of quasi isomorphisms. Okay. That's, that's the definition. That's it. Um, I'm going to, uh, make another video with some properties that we're going to need.